This is Artifacts of Mars. I don't know if you saw this interview with Oprah Winfrey or not. I was getting some feedback. I had to do that. Um, you better get kids out of the room because I'm a little angry, to say the least. You got kids out of the room? This is about Oprah Winfrey. We all know who she is. She's fabulously wealthy. And she hates... She has her talk show. But she crossed the line not too long ago. It was like a couple weeks at most. When she said something really outrageous. Something I'd expect to hear out of a Nazi. I saw the video, by the way, and I was rather stunned. I didn't... When I saw the way she leaned forward, it looked like she uh, really meant it. That took me by surprise. Now, this is... I'm going to link this to my uh, website. It's not my website, it's Yuku's website, and I have a chat group on it called Tyranny Watch. Here's what she said. She was talking to Will Gompertz of the BBC. And the subject was racism. Apparently her new f film, The Butler, has something to do with that. I would not watch that piece of trash. No matter how how much you pay me. Well, I'll bite my tongue. I'd watch it for $100,000 cash in advance. Sure, I'd watch it. It's gotten better, she said. Are there still places where people are terrorized because of the color of their skin? Because of the color of their black skin? Yes. But there are laws that have allowed us to progress beyond what we saw in the Scottsboro case and beyond even the prejudice we see in the butler. Gompertz asked Winfrey if she thought the problem of racism was solved. Of course, the problem is not solved, the actress said, as long as there are people who still, there's a whole generation, I say this, you know, I said this, you know, for apartheid in South Africa, I said this for my own. You know, community in the South, there are still generations of people, older people, who were born and bred and marinated in it, in that prejudice and racism, and they just have to die. Now, when she said that, you know, she... She leaned forward in her seat, and I just about jumped out of mine. I didn't expect that. I had heard the uh, speech, but I didn't see it before. And frankly, I was even I was shocked. I was so angry about what she said. Make no mistake about it. Now, this is inexcusable. You can't just sit there and wish a whole class of people were dead to solve your problems. That's... You just don't do that. Oh, uh, that's the kind of thing that Adolf Hitler did, and there's no arguing the fact that Adolf Hitler murdered how many people? Mm, 10, 12 million? 6 million of them Jews? However many. Well, you know, it was Adolf Hitler who suggested that the Jews be taken care of, eliminated. And most people don't seem to understand what the Nazis were all about. And this has a bearing on uh, Oprah Winfrey because she's of the exact same type of mentality by your own omission. 
Uh, the Nazis used the Jews as a scapegoat. This is a distinction. They used the Jews as a scapegoat because they, know, they knew that it's an old political trick. And use somebody for a scapegoat, you say, these people are the cause of society's problems. Then you can unite the people against those, that group, like the Jews, or in Oprah's case, the whites, a so-called old white racist. You can unite, unite people with you and against whatever group it is you're going after. It's an old political trick. The liberals say it's all got to do with hate and hate and hate. No, it's a political trick. And Oprah Winfrey is doing the same thing. She's trying to unite blacks with her against whites. It's the same thing, folks. She may not be a Nazi per se, but it doesn't matter. It's always the same thing. You pick out a group, you slander them, you put them up as an enemy, the same type of thing that the Klan does with blacks. The same thing that La Raza does with white Americans. It's the same old trick over and over again. The reason people do this is because it works. Now, in the case of Oprah Winfrey, this is a moron. And she mean... At first, I didn't think she meant that whites should be killed. But when I looked into her eyes, she kind of rose out of her seat. And I looked into her eyes, and she said that all the so-called old white racists needed to die. I almost fell out of my seat. I almost jumped out of my seat. It really scared me looking at her. I'm an agnostic, and I'll see her eyes look demonic when she said it. So, I'd say we have a problem here. Now, the police aren't on our side. If they were on our side, they would have at least gone to our door and said, Hey, you better cool it. You're suggesting that a whole generation of people be killed. Uh, what's up with that? Maybe you should spend some time in a sanitarium, which she should. I wouldn't suggest jail time for her. I would say she should be locked up in a sanitarium for a while. And maybe that would give her a different perspective on life. But make no mistake, this is hate. And this is exactly what the same type of thing that Adolf Hitler did. It's the same political trick. Now, Oprah Winfrey, like I said, she is a moron. She has the intellect, perhaps, of an artichoke. No offense to artichokes. But we can't use that as an excuse. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any justice from the system here. The cops are not going to do their jobs. They're just so fucking lazy. And they're probably scared of this bitch on top of that. So, the people of this country, if you're smart, you will boycott her movies. Don't give her a ticket sale. Don't give her nothing. This is how she makes her money. This is how she spreads her hate. I say boycott her movie, The Butler, whatever that is. I can just, I can just imagine this black man serving some white folks, and he gets slapped with all sorts of bigoted comments and all this, and rises up at the end or something, and gets free of it. I'm sure that's what it's about. Don't watch her movies. Don't watch your TV shows. We're not going to get any justice from the cops. They're not on our side. 
And one more thing. Hey, Oprah. If, as I suspect, you are trying to incite violence, you want to go? Let's go. I think you'll find that there's a whole bunch of us backwoods types that are ruddy. That's all I gotta say. You wanna go? Let's go. We're not the ones that are trying to incite a race war. You are. I'm hoping uh, black folk out there are intelligent enough not to buy in to uh, Oprah's garbage. Uh, don't go to her movies. This bitch is not for you. She is trying to unite you uh, behind her banner using the same exact technique that Nazis did. Hate isn't a bad thing in and of itself. It's just a tool. This is a hateful, diseased, old windbag bigot with an intellect of a truck artichoke. Don't go to her movies. Avoid this bitch. <sighs> Maybe your neighbors, neighbors, uh, wherever she lives can say, hey, uh, I think she's dangerous. Maybe she should be locked up for a while. This is disgusting. Wanna go, bitch? Let's go. That's all I got to say. I'm Artifacts of Mars. And I don't like Nazis, and I don't like people like you, Oprah Winfrey. Thanks for watching.